Good morning from Cape Town here at AfricaCom 2024. I'm together with Pushka Gokle, Chief Digital and Strate Strategy Officer at OpenSurf. Hello, nice to meet you. Thank you, thanks for having me. What are you showcasing at this year's AfricaCom? We at AfricaCom every year, I mean, it's the largest event and as the largest open access fiber provider in South Africa. Uh, you know, it's, it's important for us to be here. We are showcasing our network uh, as well as the kind of products and services. A great place to meet clients and, and prospective customers as well. All right. AfricaCom is all about digital transformation and AI. So, from your opinion, how can we integrate AI into telcos or how can telcos adopt AI? Yeah, I think integrating AI is about embedding and infusing uh, AI technologies not only in uh, you know, your networks that typically yeah. we speak about, yeah. but it's also in your products and services and also the processes that go around it. Mm -hmm. So essentially, I think it's, it's about how do you tweak your business model to integrate with mm -hmm. AI. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's about embedding it within it and integrating it into your business on an ongoing basis. Mm -hmm. I don't see it as a standalone concept. Mm -hmm. It has to be infused within your business. And we're doing that quite a bit. Uh, we've been dabbling with a few AI models but of course it's a beginning and we're, we're trying to learn as we grow as well. So it's more about finding the right business case for AI? Listen, as a, as a network provider, there are some really good business cases and I, I was talking about it before we sort of talk about generative AI or adaptive AI or, or even uh, symbolic AI. I think it's about understanding how do we harness machine learning, which is a key component of it. How do we understand the patterns? How do we infuse local and small language models mm. within South Africa? Yeah. So a large portion of the language models are, are the Western ones that we use and, mm. and nothing wrong with it. Yeah. But how do we ensure that we create those models within South Africa? Mm. And, and we are trying to do it within our company so that we understand and harness our data mm. and utilize it to give some actions. You know, I was, I was talking about three attributes the way we see it in our company. Okay. Um, you know, one is uh, attribute, mm -hmm. uh, compute, and then execute. Right. Attribute is about how do you change those algorithms mm -hmm. within those processes. Compute is how do you take this data and then compute it mm -hmm. uh, at that fast pace that you need it. Yeah. And for every telco, right, this is the missing piece, how do you now take that and execute on it? Yeah. I think the key litmus test is about do we create an action mm -hmm. which drives customer experience or revenue growth? And I think that is key for us to drive. All right. So from a business model perspective, you see that AI has also a kind of a disruptive character for the industry. What is your take on that? As any, any new technology comes in, I think there will be a slight disruption. But AI, essentially, if you look at it as a pyramid, you know, we had cloud, we were here a few years ago yeah, talking yeah. about cloud, big we were talking data. about big data. You know, all of these come together yeah. as, as AI, mm -hmm. right? And it's very, as I said, it's very important to understand what AI means. Mm -hmm. You know, it still has a very key component of understanding how do you understand your data, yeah. as I said, attribute it, mm -hmm. and how do you compute it, yeah. right? Uh, what is very important, Hakeem, is, is, is understanding, can we understand our data and what, what it means, right? Mm -hmm. I, I gave an example about my name. So if you type it in on Word, it comes out as, instead of Pushkar, it comes up as push cart. Uh -huh. If it doesn't understand my name, which is a local name, yeah. uh, you know, those language models have to change. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and those are the aspects that we are really working on. I had this conversation earlier as well with some industry professionals that AI seems still to be a big buzzword and everyone has a different understanding of AI and it just mentioned data. So data is also very crucial that you have a very structured data because without structured data, AI will not work. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, I gave an example of, of, of Siri, right? Mm -hmm. That's called symbolic AI, right? Mm -hmm. It's a actually working on adaptive AI, which is structured data, yeah. it, but it's trying to compute and understand your tone, your pitch, your language, mm -hmm. and then giving your response back, right? Mm -hmm. So we are, I think there is a part where generative AI, which dabbles with unstructured data, mm -hmm. and that'll take some time. But how do we harness structured data today yeah. and understand those patterns? In our world, uh, understanding where the next network break is going to take place. When is that cable going to proactively, how do we maintain that? How do we dispatch a technician proactively and manage our workforce accordingly? So those predictive analysis based on data, uh, how do we understand those patterns? So I'm, uh, you know, my team and I are working on, on multiple sort of LLMs, which includes Copilot, Microsoft Copilot, but also Claude, where we're trying to utilize that for customer experience. All right, so that means that we kind of ready to tap into AI, 
but we still need to do some homework, right, to understand it better, how to implement it. Yeah, I think, I think everyone is trying to understand yeah. it, right? Uh, somebody says they've understood it, I'm not sure. But, but we are understanding it, we are also learning in the process, yeah. right? Um, but I think this collaboration between uh, private as well as public yeah. and education, I keep bringing this in, yeah. is, is so important. Because the next generation of coders need to understand the kind of data models, yeah. need to understand the kind of algorithms yeah. that they need to put in. Yeah. And I think through that, it's going to be a journey, but I'm, yeah. I'm very confident that we can harness AI. But it'll be a tool, it won't be just a part, yeah, it'll yeah. be part of that massive tool which includes cloud, it, it includes data modeling, uh, but AI, yes, it, it brings a lot of benefits. From a service delivery perspective, what is your take on how can AI impact it as of today? I'm sure you're already doing that internally for processes. Yeah, so um, you know, a few years ago we launched an Open Serve Connect app mm -hmm. and uh, today we can heal the line remotely, right? So we have seen a 40% decline in the number of technicians That's we need to, big. yeah, we need to um, dispatch. Yeah. Uh, and we are, you know, we're really high on our connectivity rate. Mm -hmm. So then how do we understand those patterns mm -hmm. and then build those in so we, yeah. we can give more self-service? Mm -hmm. You know, the fundamental building blocks don't change, right? Yeah. Our job is to utilize those and synthesize them yeah. together. And then we can really harness AI. How do we compute that faster? How do you execute on it? Mm -hmm. uh, and of, of course, the first part is how do we make sure that the algorithms make sense? Yeah, I agree. So since we're here at AfricaCom, what were your t key takeaways so far? I think, uh, you know, AI has been spoken for the last three yeah. days. and uh, Not only three days, yeah. we're here for, throughout the year. <laughs> but, but I think key components is obviously how do you govern AI, yeah. right? How do you bring that locally? And then how do we build these partnerships, especially with the, the big players in the market? Mm -hmm. uh, that's sort of the resounding uh, sort of conversation. And of course, there's an there's a enthusiasm of, of looking at AI and how do we inculcate it. As a telco, we are doing it, but we are measured in how and where we use it. Mm. Uh, and I think everyone will, will sort of tread in that. Uh, so it's more long-term strategy. It has to be, yeah. it has to be. Yes, it gives you short-term, you know, if you can compute your data faster, yeah, yeah. but then you need to understand that data. Yeah. You know, what, what is that data? Rich. Exactly. All right. So what does the future hold for telcos and integrated AI? You know, I was, I, I was asked this question before. I believe, you know, communication has changed, telecommunication has changed. Today, Google is landing cables and, yeah. and banks are in telcos and telcos are in banks. Yeah. Um, so, so I think the telco of tomorrow will be based on communication yeah. uh, and communicating different aspects of your life. It could be content, it could be banking, it could be any service. So the business model has to look at demand-driven aspects. Uh, AI will thrive on demand-based aspects. Yeah. I gave an example of pay as you throw. Um, you know, we have our garbage bins and every Friday the guy comes and picks up the garbage. Uh, but what if um, we utilize AI and there are sensors in there that as you throw the garbage and it reach, reaches a certain level, yeah. we can actually, you know, do the yeah. truck roll and clean it out. Yeah. It, act, it increases the jobs within, within the country as well. Yeah. So there's fascinating ways of looking at AI, how you can drive it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident in the future. All right, it was very interesting, very insightful. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it. That was Tech Africa News from AfricaCom 2024. You can find more on techafricanews.com.